my name is Michael Bingham. I play guitar for a Creative Adult. We are here at the world famous Last Record Store in Santa Rosa, California. Run for Cover gave me 50 bucks to buy some records, and this is record selection. I'm just looking through the new releases. Oh, this is a cool record. This is a band called Diarrhea Planet. Um, I don't really know. I don't really know much about them, but I've heard from like a bunch of my friends. They're really cool. Uh, they played at the fest. Yeah, I missed their set, unfortunately, but everyone says this band's pretty cool. I don't know. What about the name? I love the name. It's offensive. Okay, so this is a band. Uh, they're called Joanna Gruesome, and uh, they're on Slumberland Records. I might get this actually. I've. It's another thing is I, I like to come here and like if I've never heard a band, I just buy their LP because then you know then you uh, you're more inclined to give it a real college listen opposed to you know checking it out on Spotify or something. So I'll, I'll sometimes come here and buy records I've never heard before. This is a maybe. Yeah, this is definitely a maybe. Uh, this is a band called Spiritualized. Um, a crazy psych rock band. And pretty and pretty. They're pretty incredible. This record in particular is a really good record. It's called Ladies and Gentlemen, We're Floating in Space. Seems to be on 180 gram. Ooh, might have to, I might have to get this one because I don't have any of this band's vinyl. Yeah, I think I'm going to get this. I think I'm going to get this. This is a great record. So I was saying the other day, this might be, might be album of the year for me. I think it's an incredible record. It's a band called Bikini Kill. From the 90s, they're... Uh, they're a right girl band, they're just a real punk, real raw, kind of kind of like garagey. I guess, they're, I mean, they're, they're more punk than they are garage, I guess, but this is a maybe. But then right behind this, we have a band called Blatz from the East Bay. This band is actually about to play a reunion show in Berkeley. And this is one of the first punk bands I heard, like one of the first real, you know, East Bay kind of punk bands I heard when I was younger. It's out on Alternative Tentacles, which is uh, Jello Biafra's label uh, from the Dead Kennedys. I think I'm gonna get this Bikini Kill record right here. It looks like it's, yeah, it's out on Bikini Kill Records, which is cool, they put it out themselves. So I'm gonna get this too. So this is uh, Still Nothing Moves You by Ceremony. Uh, they're also a local band, obviously, if you, if you don't know about this band. They're from uh, North Bay area. This is my favorite record, by, or this is maybe not my favorite, but this is the one that got me into them and kind of like opened my eyes to really liking this band. It's like kind of a power violence style record and I already have this or else I would pick it up but this is an incredible record. This store used to be on on the main the main strip in downtown Santa Rosa. Yeah I've been I've been coming here for a long time. And it wasn't until like uh I mean until I got into vinyl that I really understood the importance of this place. Cause you know it was always just some cool little punk spot when I was younger but then yeah I started buying records and it's like this is the only place you can come and you know you can get like Fugazi records and, and fucked up records and hot snakes records and it's a great place. This is a record called White Trash, Two Heaps and a Bean by No Effects. This was another one of those records that I got. I had this on CD when I was in uh, seventh grade. It was the first time I heard like technical punk rock like that. It was so melodic and strange. And I just remember being entranced with this when I was a kid. It was so interesting. And, and, and I'm older now and I still think it's a really great record. I'd have to pick this one up. This is, uh, this is Jay Retard, the Garage King. Rest in peace. If you don't know about this guy and you like garage rock, this is the one, this is the man right here. His body of work is just insane. I mean, he put out tons and tons of singles and tons of LPs and he was just, a, just an artist, you know? He was an artist. The homies. What's up, y'all? You never know. So we got the dollar section right here. Let's see if anything we got the Footloose soundtrack. You know, one thing I've done in this dollar section is you can always come over here, and some of these, some of these old records, like, like this Robert Plant record. Like, I, I, I've never really listened to Robert Plant to be honest, but you can come over here and you can find album art ideas. Like, this is such a great album cover. I just love it. It's a simple picture of him. I've done that a bunch of times actually. Come over here and just look at album art. Ooh. Uh, this is a Cox Bar uh, Flexi, which is only three dollars. Spirit of '76 Flexi. I think I'm gonna get this. Definitely. England blows today. That's right. You like that one? This is a band called That Ghost that a couple of my friends playing. 
This band's from around here, or I don't know if they're in the band, but uh, I know they've, they've been playing with them. The young man, his name is Ryan Schmale. This is a good record. Um, and I think I'm gonna get this actually because it's six dollars. Um, I get this, definitely. Uh, this is a band called Soft Moon. Uh, this is one, one gentleman's project. Um, and he's in another band, which I cannot remember the name of, but I believe his other band's like pretty, pretty well known. It's a very like kind of like dark, goth, synth-based, new wave project. If you're into Sisters of Mercy, or you know, if you like co the band Cold Cave, it's a great other style goth music like that. Gonna have to probably trade out one of my records or two of them. No, no, I don't. Okay. okay. Spiritualize. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's a good record, huh? It's like, a little over. That's all right, though, right? You're like, ooh, of course, bro. All right, thanks, man. Thank you. See you later. Hey, so uh, we just got done here at the last record store in Santa Rosa. Got some good pickups. If you're ever in the North Bay, I suggest you come up here and spend some time here at the last record store or just go out and buy records at your local record store and keep them going because this is uh, it's an important thing. So uh, thanks, Run, for cover, for the money, and uh, see you later.